guys my video yesterday kind of went viral and honestly i did not expect it to go viral like i expected my video to have like five thousand people but there's a hundred thousand people on there now and that's okay i'm welcoming all of the new people that followed me um i am going to continue to provide updates on the case uh I am not going to provide speculation because I, I don't know what happened and everything is alleged, but I'll provide updates on the documents if documents come up and I'll provide updates on anything else that occurs. <laughs> people the situation with cmr where he was arrested allegedly for child molestation now some people are saying that he was arrested for molesting chrissy's daughter remember chrissy is his wife but no people are not so go right now allegations are that he allegedly molested his side chick daughter you hear that people i'm side chick that i molest no, it is said that CMR was always over that house where that girl is. The girl with him say molest. Allegations are that that girl, when she go bathroom and she had come back from bathroom, she now wear nothing. She naked in the house. Yes, and CMR is in the house and her mother allowed that to happen. Now, it is said that CMR and the mother are break up. Now they had a fight and, and CMR rushed out of the house and leave him phone. So the woman must have tried to pull CMR phone and can't pull it. And the little girl says yes, she can't pull it. So she pulled the phone and then the mother sees some pictures of she inside the phone. Some naked pictures, people. That is what is being said. And them say, and the mother, they found live over TikTok and say all of that. Say so CMR rushed out of the house leaving phone she was searching phone she don't know the code her daughter know the code when her daughter pulled the phone and she got in at the phone she see nude pictures of her daughter in cmr's phone allegedly people well me could listen to what going over here so right now IT. Yeah. yesterday made the panel made the panel live yesterday and i watch is not is and i'm wife daughter you know is the next lady because when they question the lady she said two years she and him they together she have her daughter at the house but what i blame the dark the lady she said most of the time the little girl going to the bathroom when the little girl come out of the bathroom she not have her daughter it's, and it also can be uh she not well, 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 well. lady daughter and she had talk it's like she and see um, she and see mr did in a some consultation like pulling up on something but she said cmr leave a leave out of the house and when him leave out of the house like cmr leave him phone him leave him phone yeah, in yeah. the house right so are the little girl Tell him like when she take it up, she can't pull the phone. And the little girl said to her, say, Mommy, me can't pull the phone. And when she the little girl pull the phone, he must see picture with the little girl. You know, have her no clothes. But she said the little girl always going at the bathroom. And when she come out of the bathroom, the little girl no have her no towel now there. So they say people let me cuss her up on the live and I say what kind of hotel and it's that you're not supposed to do that because remember say is a man you're having at the house and he's not the child father. So you're not supposed to make a little girl come out of the bathroom without clothes. You're supposed to carry a towel. Our car, our clothes, in the bathroom, want to have visitor in the house. It should have been on phone. It should have been on phone, mama. Yeah, yeah, you know? Mother turn around and say, it's a regular thing. The little girl always of cause like our family yeah, member. Mama, them. This mama, this mama, this mama. Yeah, listen. Yeah. It's like our family member, them like our cousin. So them always come and they are the house. And like, but she, she even got to a part where she even say, when she go away at daytime, 
when she are gonna where she leave a little girl in a the house with CMR. So why you feel that and she says she get molested when she small with from when she did small she get molested by her family, her father. This coming from the German generation curse is that and done from you to your pitney. So I eat them and say, why she leave the little girl in there? She wrong. Right. She didn't call like so, this to their talk. Let me ask you a question. Let me speed up. See, so you have information, but more I get to the fight. She never talk like one, tripping one, nothing. What, 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 what she talk like? No. What evidence she had tried to she have for him? No, she had talk like, say, him, like, him, you know, him, I take the little girl picture, nude and them, something there. Because, like, a dad, she sitting at the phone, you know, it's like, no. Sexy or not like that. It's just no picture. All right, so it's a court case where I forgot to win. But here we go. Here we look a problem when we that chat about earlier. I'm give back the floor. I am saying there's a previous part where him have the charger we're touching already and touching already. Yes. And now him have this touching and touching again. Him only need prior. No, in a situation like this, we can't speculate on you know, people because no, no, we never did it and it can't happen to anybody. But the Lord just said the man look like a pervert. So we just yeah. have to say pervert with, with wonder how it work out then. We can't chastise him because, let me tell you this, people wicked too, you know, we're not cover for the man, you know, yes. man, yes. man yes. up, but you also yes. understand, say, People wicked and him have some look of bad behavior and maybe because of the bad behavior, this I wanna just bring him down because of people just judging bad behavior. I feel like says it is like him a try pull up with the mother. Why? Me I feel wonder if a two him or the mother because it's like she she and him have a confrontation, you know, and like him get fed up and like him tell her say yeah, he over and him all left. Mm -hmm. But I just he, 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 we are all him ignorant and come out of the house. Mm -hmm. I saw him end up leave the phone. And this is for the my clerk, my orange, uh, the Orange County Clerk of Courts, um, website. <clears throat> um, and this is honestly the update that has happened on his case. So let's us let's start. So the first thing that I am gonna draw focus to is the date in which, um, the date here. So the, let me move myself here. So the date that's right here, I want to focus on that. Because I know that's going to throw a lot of people off. So 11-3-2024, 11-3 was yesterday. But why are we just getting the updates today? And that is because most of these uh, motions or um, things that were filed in his case were occurred on yesterday. He got a he got a public defender. The public defender started filing things that he believed would assist um him, him in his case. Okay? So the first thing that is here is a notice of invocation of constitutional rights. Oh, this is not in order, my loves. Well, yeah, it is. And then so yeah, this isn't in order, but that's okay. I'm gonna make it in order for you so you guys can follow along in order. 
So the notice of invocation of constitutional rights. Then after that, the affidavit, affidavit of insolvency and indigency is the next thing that should come. And then case determination for indigency was approved. Um, and then after that, we get advice to defendant uh, first appearance occurred. And then after that, you would see court minutes and then you would see, well, before that you would see complaint and then you would see the court minutes. So that should be last. But what this is, is just documents or docket events that are um, constituting to an update, like something occurred on this case. So let's kind of break down what occurred on this case. Let's go over the first thing that occurred here. So what does invoking his constitutional right mean? Um, so this means people whom police are deter detaining may not want to say anything that's going to lead them to facing criminal charge. So all adults must understand their rights so that they can invoke it properly. Most people have heard of Miranda rights, which is all which are backed uh, by the Fifth Amendment and the United States Supreme Court opinion. These rights provide individuals detained and questioned with specific rights to help them avoid self-incrimination. So what this means when he invokes his constitutional, is invoking of a constitutional right, that basically means that he invoked that he did not want to speak to the police without a lawyer presence that's all that means he didn't want to speak with the, to the police without a lawyer present when they brought him down so let me kind of walk through when they went and arrested him on the second they arrested him and he they brought him down because in a case like this they are going to ask you questions first right so they arrested him they brought him down and they were asking him questions and he decided that he was going to invoke his constitutional right and he said that he wanted a lawyer present and he he decided not to speak to the police officers without a lawyer present which is the smart thing to do if you ever get arrested ask for a lawyer first do not speak to the police ask for the lawyer <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that was filed is the affidavit of insolvency and indigency. And this, what this means, this is a detailed form that is signed by the defendant under oath attesting to his or her indigency. It means, which means indigency is an inability to pay for your private legal counsel. So basically this means that he is stating that he cannot afford a private lawyer um, and he would need a public defender. So that's what this part, that affidavit mean. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that moving forward, I, I don't know if he's not, and somebody might be able to correct me, that he won't be able to um, get his own private legal counsel moving forward. I do believe he's able to. But for right now, there was an affidavit of insolvency, which basically also mean that he wasn't able to, he's attesting that he's not able to pay the court fees, nor is he able to pay for le private legal counsel. Okay. And the next portion of that is that, that um indigency and insolvency did get approved which to, which basically means that um they approved for him to have a public defender duh they're gonna always approve that and they approved for him to not have to pay the court fees as well okay and this i just wanted to show you guys that this is for um the county like florida this is typical for florida uh uh for them to to determine um civil indigent status so this is just showing you like the application here so you can pause to read it if you're interested um in what the application look like there's a second page but i couldn't grab all of that okay so this is just the first page okay all right so i want to move back here so um after those first three things occurred then he had, a, you have advice to defendant or first appearance. What this means is that he had a first appearance in front of the judge. The judge provided him with some advice, just like television. Um, he went in there with his public defendant. Pub the asked, what does he plead 
we don't know what he pleased, y'all, because the, the, these, yeah, we don't know what he pleased, but he pleased um, something to the judge, and the court minutes occurred, and um, then a complaint occurred. So what I want to also focus on um, on the next page is um, the pages. So the notice of invocation of constitutional rights is one page, it's the indenture indignancy approved one page and basically all the first four things are one page like his first appearance the affidavit is one page but then we have the court minutes which is really where all the details are that's three pages so that's everything that happened in the court and then we have the complaint which is the chief complaint that the prosecution have against him has against him and that is three pages i would i would really like to see that I am kind of running out of time, so I want to wrap this up real quick. And so that is the end of the updates as far as his docket goes. I do have an additional update, and I will post that um later on today. Uh, well, not really. I'm going to post it um in a couple minutes, but the, this video is taking longer. If you're interested in my video, please, please, please continue um, to follow me. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, give as much updates as I can about this case. Uh, just continue to follow and like the videos and share it, share it, share it out. Thank you all.